Hi everyone. So, uh, is this a journal with me? Is 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 this a thing? Uh, I watch people do these things, and I never thought I would be doing these things. Um, normally, when I journal, my my journaling is all just generally thoughts, and so lots and lots of writing. Uh, I've never really incorporated art into my journals. Every once in a while, I'm inspired to do a little doodle. Um, but I've been watching so many of these like journal with me videos lately and have really enjoyed them. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll give it a try. I happen to have these new fine liners that are waterproof. Um, so I kind of wanted to try them out. I had no idea what to draw. And so I just started like grabbing random, <laughs> random objects from my desk and drawing them and I was like this I don't like this this is I'm not not happy with these um and then I was like wait when people do these they're generally drawing something that like talks about what they've done for that day or in that week and so yesterday I decided to chop off all of my hair so I washed it, I put it into two pigtails, and I got my scissors and snip, cut 10 inches off. It was a very cathartic experience. Um, it's, it wasn't inspired by wanting a new haircut or a new hairstyle. It was just suddenly my hair <laughs> represented like just years of baggage all these past experiences uh, were all like tied up in in the this dead hair on my head um and it was just i think it's time to let that stuff go it's time to move forward we're entering a new world and this just seems like the most appropriate time and so i had to let go of it the possibility of you know regret also <laughs> cutting off 10 inches of hair. I had to let go of the fact that it might not look good because I am not a hairdresser. I just has happened to have some shears and it was as simple as that. So that was my, <laughs> my strange um, experience yesterday. It actually felt really good um, and it was inspired by finally leaving the house, uh, went on a hike, uh, drove somewhere, went on a hike, experienced the earth again. It felt really good. Um, I have, as so many people, I think we are, we have been plagued by this uncertainty. There's like this constant background noise of uncertainty, uh, and it's unsettling. And sometimes that noise is really loud and we can't ignore it. We can't tune it out. It's super overwhelming. Sometimes the noise fades away into the background and it's just this subtle lingering presence that's not very like in the forefront of our experience, but it is always there now. Um, and so it's been kind of difficult to just have fun and <laughs> go out into the world and go on a hike, which is something I love to do. And so finally... Uh, gathered, gathered my senses and was like, this is just something you need to do. And I am really grateful. Yes, that noise, that background noise was still present, um, but it was less present. And I just, it felt good to be out in, in nature. And so that I came home, driving home, I was like, I think it's time to cut my hair. And so I did just that and it feels really good. Um, maybe I don't, maybe it's not an appropriate style for my head. I don't know, <laughs> but I do know that it feels really good. It feels like I just let go of a big burden um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, um, I just feel a little bit lighter and a little bit freer. And so, yeah, uh, that's that was my experiment. Um, so anyways, back to what I'm doing. This is, again, this is kind of like a new world for me. I'm just really enjoying kind of 
taking art a little more seriously rather than just doodle randomly every once in a while, twice a year. <laughs> I'm like encouraging myself to put a little more thought into creating something. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results of this. Um, I feel like the more simple I keep it, uh, the, the happier I am with it. Um, and I don't know if that's just because I'm lacking the skills um, presently to, to do something more complicated and complex and detailed, or maybe that's just my style. Maybe I just prefer the simple things. I don't know. Um, but I'm on a path of discovery right now, and I have the time to do it. Uh, I was a little, like, conflicted about how much shading, again, like, should I make this more detailed? Should I try to um, make this a little more realistic? Already it's very not realistic, so maybe I should just embrace that and not do a whole lot of shading. And um, so, yeah, there was a lot of, like, should I be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's kind of like cutting off 10 inches of my hair. Um, it feels so final. Like when you commit to something, you just have to like see it through and you can't go back. But I guess you could always do it again. I can always draw this again. I could draw something else tomorrow and um, maybe I will have learned something and I'll be able to incorporate that into what I do tomorrow. It's funny, I feel like so much of the colors that I mix have been very pastel-y. And that's not my, not my intention. I didn't intend to have purple hair. <laughs> um, but that keeps happening. Every time I do something, um, those colors are what comes out. So I'm just going to run with it and say, hey, that's, uh, that's how I see color. Um, yeah, purple purple hair. <laughs> I always find lips to be a daunting thing. I don't know. Because they're just pigment and if you like outline them then they look really strange unless if it's like an intentional part of the style. They just, I don't know how to approach lips sometimes. Or noses, or eyes, or faces, or hair. <laughs> like I said, this is just all a, a journey of discovery and learning. And I'm actually really grateful for the time. Even though, you know, like I said, there's this constant noise of uncertainty. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I am really grateful to have this time off right now. Technically, it is my spring break, so I wouldn't be teaching anyways right now this week. But then next week, we will not have school. We're, the predicted date is April 10th to go back, which I think is a Friday, so I technically it'll probably like be April 13th if we go back to school. I don't know. I know some other schools in the area, as well as around the world, have just closed for the rest of the school year. And that's always a possibility. It'll be really strange to go back to, to work for like a month and a half. And I'm sure we would all be really <laughs> uncomfortable and worried about germs. <laughs> so it would just be like a really strange space to exist in. I hope everyone is doing well. Everyone, I'm sure, is affected in some capacity in what is going on in the world. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are experiencing a very similar thing, but I also recognize that I live in a bubble. Um, I am a teacher, so I am not working right now. Um, but I have... But I do know that there are people that have to go to work still, and I can't imagine what that feels like. It must be very strange. 
scary, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, my bubble is small. Um, I myself am hanging out mostly in my house. But I still hear cars out there driving on the street. There's still people walking around. There's still businesses open. I hope you could hear the clock. That's the, the bell at the University of Arizona. Oh yeah, and I have this little, like, it came with a brush pen, which felt really awkward again to hold, but I was like, yeah, I think it might be nice to have some, like, line variation. Anytime I don't use a fountain pen, I'm my hand is like, what do I do with this strange object? It feels so foreign, like a ballpoint pen or a fine liner or a colored pencil. I really, it feels super awkward. Um, I have grown so accustomed to the way a fountain pen feels that I don't know how to use other pens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be well, stay safe.